Hi, my name is Carl Rosenthal and today I'm going to show you how to uh, use Windows 7 and in particular in Windows 7 how to expand out the built-in uh, search function to now be able to search against other items that aren't necessarily on the local machine. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to create um, or we're going to have a look at doing searches using what's known as a search connector. And the search connector connects the local searching function to an external source. And, and the idea with this is that you can then use the built-in uh, Windows, uh, Win Windows Explorer search as an example, but rather than just looking at the local index, we can now actually do a search out into other environments. Um, so say for instance out onto websites, uh, you could use this to be able to federate search, uh, to do a federated search against uh, say your, your own um, uh, SharePoint site so that you can then again do searches from within the desktop to a remote, so, a remote site. Um, and this is all done using the uh, open, so, open search functionality that's available in uh, Windows 7. And there's a couple of sort of, there's ones that are available that are uh, come off, uh, most of the Microsoft sites will actually have their own uh, search uh, federations or search connectors you can actually download. Um, but in particular, and, and so for those ones it's nice and easy. Essentially what you do is you grab a hold of the search connector, you install it, and then away you go. Um, however, that's not always going to be the case. So what I want to show you is I want to show you today how to actually create your own. Now, there's one that I've got here, and just to show you what it is we're wanting to achieve, um, if I open this up with uh, Notepad, this is actually the searcher for uh, Bing. And the idea is this, that we're going to do a search against Bing as being the site to be able to do a search against, in which case we can then actually have that as, as part of our Windows environment to do the search. Um, so this is one that I've created earlier, so I'm just going to add that in. And the idea with that is to add it in, double click onto it, it's going to add the search connector into Windows. And then that means then that from within Windows, uh, so within Explorer, I can actually do a search against Bing. Uh, ignore the search that's on there, I, that's for one of the latest sort of, uh, one of the examples I'm going to show you a little bit later on. Uh, but say for instance I'm wanting to find out some more about uh, Windows 7. So then I've actually done a search in here in Windows 7 and what that's gone across is that's gone across into the, uh, like onto Bing to do the search. So the idea with this is that I can, you know, I don't have to go into a Windows Explorer box to be able to do my do my search. I can do it directly from within here. Um, the other cool thing, you'll notice that over here in the favorites, this has then added them into the favorites. Uh, so this is my favorite searches effectively, or favorite areas. So what I can do is I can actually grab that Bing and drag that onto the start menu and then I've got a search directly from within the start menu that I can launch up. So again, just giving me a little bit of a flexibility within there. I've got another one that's on there which is uh, Flickr. So say for instance I want to do a, a search into Flickr as well, then I can do a, a <coughs> search on the Flickr and this is where we'll do a search for the cute bunny. This will take a little bit longer because it's actually going across the entire um, s uh, the entire Flickr site. Now this is uh, one that's been developed, uh, a search connect that's been developed. Essentially what it does is it actually does a search via a proxy effectively. And that's what we're going to do is like, uh, when I set up a new search connector shortly, um, I'm actually going to show you how to create one that's going to then leverage off what's already known to be able to then do a search across. And it's actually going to use um, the uh, Bing website to be able to do that search as we'll see. So I said it takes a little bit of time for this to come up and one of the things that you'll notice when it does arrive is that we've actually got all the sort of options that we would have uh, for the, our layouts that we'd actually have in a normal sort of Windows environment. So if I go over to my results over here, you'll notice that I've got this listed currently in content but I can reduce that down to details. Um, lists, etc. Now that's not as important or, or not as, as useful as such within this screen, but when we get across onto our Flickr search, you'll see then that I've got all the details, but then what I can do is I can then go into uh, tiles, and that then shows me the tiles that are coming up onto there, going into icons, etc. Alright, great, so that's what we can do from within our search engines. Okay. What about if you have a site that you want to be able to do a search against? Okay, well the way to set that out 
<coughs> and here's one that I prepared earlier in that, like, you know, I've got a little bit of a, a template side as such within here. And the template, essentially what this is, this is a standard XML document, which if you take this template, you'll be able to then do a search based off this. It goes against, the, it, it searches Bing to find all the results that, that are relevant to the search you've just done, but that actually related to um, the site that you're searching against as opposed to searching against Bing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up a search that goes across my blog site. So to do that, I go into name. Um, so this is the name that's going to be showing up. It's the short name. So as an example, Bing, uh, we saw the Flickr search as an example before. So within here, I'm going to have this as Vista PC guy search. And the description, um, make sure you do fill in the description with you know more details about what it is. This is kind of what you'll get as you hover across. Um, And before anyone, uh, you know, you're probably thinking at this point, uh, well, why do I want to be able to, you know, search across Vista PC guys in this Windows 7? Yes, it is. I just haven't done all the updates to be able to transfer the domain name across, etc. Um, so there you go. But basically, what I need to do is, is I'm, I'm putting into here. I'm, I'm leveraging off an API call that we can do into Bing. Um, so if you just simply type this out exactly as it is within here, and then in the site, in this case, we're going to uh, Vista PC guy. Uh, dot net and then the same for the URL site for the URL search the site that we're going across into there okay then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that away and when I save that I'm going to save it as the search uh, file that we need to be able to do or the, the uh, search extension and that search extension is OS, OSDX. Okay, so I'm going to just jump that into here, and this is going to be my Vista PC guy. Okay, so it's an XML file that I'm creating. There it is there, there's my search. So what I can do with that is if I now install that, add that on, now I can do a search in the Vista PC Guy search, that website directly from within my environment here. Um, the things such as uh, the, uh, yeah, so what I can do from within here, say for instance I want to do a search for the videos. So this is like the links that I've actually put up for the videos for our um, uh, the How Do I videos? Well, here they are here. This is all the links that, that are going across into it. So there you go. So that's how you can then create your own um, search connectors, which will then leverage off what you already have within Windows 7 uh, to be able to expand out your search built in to now outside of your local machine. My name's Kyle Rosenthal, and this has been a How Do I video on how to create a search connector.